Ollie Cancers, welcome to your mid-month tune-up for November 2020. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please spread your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Cancers mid-month, November 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know? To reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine. Any messages that you have would be greatly appreciated. And we thank you. Cancers. Middle of November 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know? Alrighty. So general energies for November. Mid-November rather. We have... What are we, oh, we have the four of wands in reverse. Sorry. Okay, and make sure you click on the Vimeo link below where I'll be having um, your extra extra reading based on the Empress and in there will be, I will answer the questions, how to take your power back, what do you need to create, and what situation or what person do you need to nurture, okay? Um, challenge position, we have the Ace of Wands in the upright. Advice, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. All right, sorry, I'm a little sluggish, um, <laughs> a little out of it. Also, uh, make sure you check out my playlist in there are my 2021 and 2020 sun moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? And what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on instant go. Check me out on, uh, um, I almost said Twitter. God, <laughs> check me out on um, um, Facebook. God. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe. All right. So hopefully I'll have it more together for Leos. I'm sorry, Cancers. Okay. So we start off with your general energies. Things are not so great. Um, it could be the environment that you're in. And keep in mind, this is a general reading. It can be about love, family, friendships, career, finances. However, it's going to be applicable. Okay. But middle of November, you're just not comfortable in your surroundings. Um, you know, usually the four of wands for me is, is when, you know, you feel awkward or you feel, um, you don't feel like you fit in with other people or you don't feel like you're welcome. It could be a really tense environment. Um, it can be, you know, a situation where you're absolutely dreading going into something, you know, when you're really dragging your feet to go into work or you're dragging your feet to go in an atmosphere to visit a family member or what have you. So it's just kind of that. Um, it can also be a, a situation where that environment gets so bad that you decide that you want to move out or and you just pack up your stuff and you leave or you ask somebody else to leave because um, they're the person that's causing the, um, you know, the, 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 like the tensicity, <laughs> the tenseness within this environment. Okay. Now, in the challenge position, we have the Ace of Wands in the upright. So your challenge is you're having a difficult time trying to figure out how to make this situation change. I mean, um, this woman's holding a baby. So, I mean, to me, that's really symbolic of like a birth of an idea. You're having you're having a problem birthing an idea to solve this situation. You really don't know how to kind of um, go about it um, or how to even feel inspired to, um, you know, want to change it. You might be feeling a little bit like not even even inspired to do so. Um, and the thing is, when it comes to home and environment, that's really important to you guys. Um, you know, if that's affected, then it's almost like everything else is affected. You know, it's like a domino effect. So um, I can see why this is really troublesome for you. Now, the advice here is to kind of get out of your head. So, um, you know, rather than kind of let it snowball or, you know, go down a rabbit hole, um, just kind of, you know, just kind of look at the thing for uh, the reality of it rather than the perception. Um, and maybe that'll enable you to think of how to go about solving this, um, whatever this might be. So it seems like, you know, you're a little too in your head right now. Your perspective is skewed. Maybe you're feeding into it a little bit too much. And they're saying you, you need to kind of come out of that in order to figure out how this is going to get resolved. Um, as you move forward, we have the sun card in reverse. So that's indicative of 
it, it gets better, but it doesn't get to where you want it to be. It, it still ends up being problematic because the sun card is rever in reverse is when, yeah, it's okay, but you still kind of have like this gray cloud kind of following you around, um, you know, and you, you know it's ever present, you know it's kind of nagging at you. So it will improve to an extent. It's just not going to get exactly to where you want it to be. Um, so, and, and I don't know if that's a case of you have higher expectations than you should, um, which are going to set you up for disappointment or what that situation is. I don't know. I haven't pulled the clarifiers yet. So, and who knows if that'll even come up. So, Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for the Four of Wands in reverse for Cancers? Why is the Four of Wands here for Cancers for mid-November? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please. Okay. Okay. So you know, if this ends, it's not going to end well. Yeah. Somebody is moving out of this situation. Are you asking somebody to leave? Um, if, if it, it if it does end, it's going to be very painful, maybe for all parties involved, or um, somebody's going to feel like they're betrayed. Um, I do see somebody leaving. Um, either the person is asked to leave or you are leaving, but somebody needs to be taken out of the situation um, so that things can be restored. And I see this person not wanting to leave um, because the death card is here in reverse, which is the card of Scorpio. So it's almost be like, hey, you know, let's back up your things and let's get you on your way. And they're kind of like, no, I'm not going to leave. They're really resistant to change. They're really reluctant to move out of this situation. So I think that's what's making it problematic. I don't think it's you. I think it's the other person. I, I think it's, it's, it gets pr um, proposed to them. Hey, you need to leave or I need to leave or more like, yeah, you need to leave. Um, so pack up your stuff. And, and it almost comes in the context of, you know, um, it, it's really going to be better for you. I almost feel like it's wrapped up that way. And this person's like, no, I'm not going anywhere because they don't, they don't want the situation to change. Um, that's kind of problematic. Why is the Ace of Wands here? So this is where you're having a problem. The challenge is you can't think of ideas to kind of make this happen. I mean, this person is very adamant that they're not going anywhere. And part of you, I think, is confused because um, this situation really isn't good for them. It's not very healthy for them. It's not, you know, a good situation, yet they want to stay in it. So I, I do think you try to position it to them um, as such, but they just aren't having it. They're too stuck in their ways, or maybe they have it too good where they are. Um, I'm not sure. Why is this Ace of Wands here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages. All right. So we have the Judgment card in the upright. The Seven of Pentacles in reversed. Okay. So... Okay, you have a connection to this person. Um, and I think that's part of the reasons why your judgment is kind of clouded. Um, we have the card, uh, the lover's card here, which is the card of Gemini, if that resonates. And, and I think that's um, part of the reason why you can't come up with ideas. I think you're attached to this person or, um, you know, you have a... Um, you have some sort of connection to them. And it's a deep connection. It's not a casual connection when the lover's card shows up. It's somebody who... Um, um, you're very tied to, maybe they mirror your soul, they're the yin to your yang or what have you. But that makes it problematic because you don't have clear judgment and you don't know that it's time to stop investing in this. Um, so I almost feel like you're going a little bit um, further than you actually should with this person. You're actually helping them out more than you should. And I get it. You guys are cancers. You're all about, um, you know, helping people and nurturing people and you want to see them get to a better place. Um, you're, you're one of my, you know, few astrological people that do that. So, I mean, you just, you know, you have feelings, you don't, if you have an attachment to somebody and once you guys have an attachment, you always have an attachment, right? So, I mean, <laughs> you'll hold on to somebody, the good, the bad, the ugly, no matter what. So it, it makes it, it makes it difficult for you, um, to, to generate ideas on how this is going to kind of go down. Um, why is the nine of swords here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? I mean, in the reverse, um, in the advice position for cancers, mid November, who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles in reversed. 
Okay. Um, so uh, the part of the problem, and they're telling you to get out of your head because I feel as though this person is, um, they're, they're manipulating you to an extent. Um, and, and they're really kind of getting you in your head. They're having you overthinking and stuff. I mean, one of the things that they're saying is with the, um, they're kind of saying like, I'm not going anywhere. And they're being very adamant about it. I mean, it's not even up for discussion. They're being very stubborn. They're really kind of digging their heels in the sand. Um, another card that they kind of play is, um, with the justice card in reverse, which is a card of Libra. Um, they either, uh, you know, put it back on you. They're blaming you. They're saying that they're being treated unfairly. Um, you know, woe is me. This is horrible. This is so unfair. You know, what an injustice and, and, um, you know, kind of, kind of, um, circumventing any responsibility that they have, um, you know, not, um, taking ownership for what they've kind of put into this. Um, and then um, for some of you, they're actually positioning you as somebody who is being a little bit of a nag and kind of um, telling them what to do and how to do it. So, I mean, all three of these cards combined are them trying to demonize you a little bit and that kind of gets in your head and then you feel like you're the bad person and then you kind of put off doing anything. So I wouldn't necessarily feed into this. And that's what they're telling you with the Nine of Swords, you know, get out of your head and, and realize that um, it, it's just the perception they're trying to kind of run on you. And the rea reality is that they're they they need to move on you know and you kind of um you kind of allowing them to stay or you kind of giving in is not really helping them in the long run right okay why is the sun card here in reverse for cancers for the middle of october who is this person what is this energy additional messages sun card in reverse for cancers who is this person what is this energy why is the sun card here in reverse for cancers as they move out of the middle of november Okay, so some sort of conflict, or some sort of um, resolution comes about with the five of wands in reverse. So it's kind of like, okay, you know, this is the, this is what the deal is going to be. This is, you know, what we're going to, what we're going to kind of agree to do. Um, and, and I mean, I think it's kind of mutual. I don't think every, anyone's really happy about it. It's kind of like there aren't really any winners um, in regards to it. Um, the Four of Pentacles indicates to me that that's kind of like you saying, okay, this is my stuff. <laughs> um, you're not taking any of this stuff with you. Um, you know, I worked really hard for this stuff and this is mine and you're welcome to take what you have as you walk out the door. But, you know, I, I'm not going to be sharing my things or, or um, you know, uh, loaning you any money <laughs> or anything like that um, to kind of send you on your way. Um, here you are with the Nine of Swords. And then finally, in doing this, you are released to an extent you can stop um, stressing out about this being anxious staying awake at night you know overthinking and overthinking and overthinking but um, it still isn't kind of left the way that you wanted it to be so um, that could end up being you know troublesome for you as you move out of November and middle of November and on um, especially because the holidays are coming up and stuff so I get it I feel like this could be a family member of some sort whether it's a partner a child you have um, or just family member in general who is who has over stayed their welcome is what I'm kind of getting. Um, so that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can set that up. Um, otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below where I'll be doing your um, this month's Extra Extra, which is based on the Empress. And in there, I will answer how can you take your power back? What do you need to create? And then um, also, oh, I always forget what the last one is. See, if I don't write this stuff down, I don't remember. Um, also, what do you, how do you need to uh, nurture a situation or a person? Okay, because Empress is very nurturing. Uh, check out my playlist. In there are my 2021 Sun Moon readings. My 2020 Sun Moon readings are still in there. Uh, what is your ideal career based on your uh, midheaven sign and I hate saying uh and so um, and then also what is your compatibility with your partner sun sign like share subscribe and or donate otherwise I'll see you in the Vimeo reading adios from Veronica Garnett bye